Hello and hope you are doing well. This is Great Circle Sailing. Practice problem nine. We solve for distance and initial course. So no time to waste. Let's jump right into it. Great circle, distance, and initial course. Practice problem nine. Let's do this. Problem nine. Here we go. There's uh, two positions given in the problem. So here we are given. We are given lat one, which equals eight, five, three, zero. 8 degrees, 53.0 minutes more. No, north. Okay, and long one, which equals 7931. 79 degrees, 31.0 minutes west. We're given lat two, which equals. 33, 5, 1.5, 33 degrees, 5, 1.5 minutes south. And we're given long to, which is equal to 1, 5, 1, 13, 1, 5, 1 degrees, 13.0 minutes east. And in the problem, we, we can't use any minutes. So we are going to turn all of these minutes into degrees by dividing them by 60. So they're going to equal, 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 and they're going to equal the whole number here, like 0, 8, point, and then whatever this comes out to. 5, 3 divided by 60 equals 0. 0.88. So 8.88 degrees north and 79.31 divided by 31 divided by 60. 0.52, 52 degrees west. And this one's 33.51.5 divided by 60 equals 0 0.86. 86 degrees south. And one five one point thirteen divided by sixty equals point two two point two two east. All right, <clears throat> now we need to find D low, which is the difference between lat one long one and long two. So find D low. We're just going to use this formula. D low equals, if we say long one minus long two, it just kind of shows us that we're finding the difference. Long one is 79.52 west, 79.52 degrees west. Long two is 15122 east, 151.22 degrees east. East. Okay, these are a ways apart. Let's check this out. It looks like we're crossing prime meridian, possibly. So we went from, so here's zero. Start at our starting point, zero. Well, we were at 79, we're at 80 west, essentially. You can't even, you can hardly read these, but 20, 40, 60, 80. So we started here and we went to one, five, Five one, one five one point two two east. This is interesting. Like, did we go east or west? Right. So we started at eighty. We couldn't go this way. We just hit land. Right. Twenty forty sixty eighty. So we went toward one fifty. So one twenty forty sixty. We went west. Oh, we went way west. So 80 all the way, 20, 40, 60, 
80 and then back down. 60, 40. So we went all the way over here. We went west. We went like 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So we're going to be somewhere around 120 degrees of longitude. Okay. Basically, we're going to have to calculate everything we didn't cover and subtract it to get what we did. So, what we're going to do is 79.52 plus 151.22 equals minus 360. Enter. Yeah, 129.26. 129.26 degrees. We went west. And I really like to use this, this chart and see what I'm working with to make sure I'm in a ballpark. It's like the equivalent of doing mental math for time. So here we are. 121.26 degrees west is our D-low. And now we need to figure out distance. So we need to find distance. And to find distance, we use this formula. Cosine of distance is equal to cosine flat 1 times cosine flat 2 times cosine d low plus or minus whatever is the case sine flat 1 times sine flat 2. And so let's plug some numbers in here. Cosine flat 1, cosine 8.88 degrees times cosine flat 2, 33.86 times cosine d low, 129.8. 2, 6, plus or minus. So we cross the equator. You can see this north-south names in our lat 1 and lat 2, which means we subtract. So minus sine lat 1, 8.88 8 times sine lat 2, 3386, 3, 3.86. And now we start plugging away here. Cosine. So we open these parentheses and we go cosine 8.88 close times cosine 33.86. 33.86 times cosine d low 129.26 close close enter negative 0 0.51921 negative 0 0.51 51921 51921 okay minus see what we get here so we open these parentheses and sign 8. Point 8, 8, close, times, sine, 33.86, 3, close, close, enter, point, 0, 0.08601, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Nine two one minus point zero eight six zero one enter negative zero point six zero five two two and this number represents the cosine of distance so we just want distance and it's going to equal the inverse cosine of negative 0 0.60522. So our distance in degrees should equal this. 
second cosine negative point six zero five two two one twenty seven point two four one twenty seven point two four degrees well the answers if you look at the answers to the problem for nine it's in miles it's in miles and degrees so we need to get this in miles so times 60 miles in one degree degrees cancel you're left with miles distance equals so 127 times 60 equals 76347 seven six three four point seven miles okay and this that's looking promising seven six three five yeah i'd say we're on the right track but now we need to get initial course right so let's just come up here and say um we need to find initial course and we can do that using this formula here we say Cosine initial course equals plus or minus sine lat 2 minus cosine distance times sine lat 1. And all of this is over the sine distance times cosine lat 1. And we start going. So how do we know if it's plus or minus? Well, we cross the equator. You can tell by the north-south on our lat 1 and lat 2. So it is minus. And sine lat 2. Lat 2 is 3386. 33.86 minus cosine distance. Make sure to use the degrees. So 127.24 right here. 127.24 degrees times sine lat 1, 8.88. And all of this over sine distance, 127.24, 127.24. Times cosine lat one eight point eight eight, and now we start crunching these numbers. Minus, don't forget these negatives here because we cross the equator. So minus sine three three point eight six. So negative zero point five five seven one seven. Minus, and then let's get this number. So open those parentheses and cosine 127.24 close times sine 8.88 close, close, enter. And this is negative 0 0.0934. two. And this is all over this number. So open the parentheses and sine distance 127.24 close times cosine 8.88 close close enter 0 0.78657. 0 0.78657. Okay. <clears throat> now let's keep going. Now all these signs. Don't forget this negative and a negative and a negative is a positive. So negative 0.55717 plus 0 0.09342 equals it equals a negative 0 0.46375, 46375, 
five, and this is over this number, 0 0.78657. And this division, so we have this already divided by 0 0.7857. Equals negative zero point five eight nine five nine, and this remember is cosine of initial course. We just want initial course. Initial course equals we say the inverse cosine of negative zero point five eight nine five nine. <clears throat> this is going to come out in quadrantial notation, and we'll have to take it from there. Second, cosine inverse, negative 0 0.5895926.13. 1, 126.13. 1, and we name this north-south based on lat 1. It's north. And east-west based on d low, it's west. Okay, good. Northwest. Let's graph this out and see what we're working with. So here we have north, south, east, and west. We are north by west, so we are north. And then we are west, 126 degrees. We're somewhere down here. So that's what we're working with. And we need to get degrees from north. So we need all of these. So how do we get that? Well, if we take 360, subtract what we got here, we're left over with degrees from north. So let's try that out. So 360 minus 126.13 equals, should be degrees true. 360 minus 126.13, enter. 233.9, 233.9 degrees true. So this is equal to 233.9 degrees true. That should be our initial course. So initial course here, distance here. Let's check this out. 7635, good, got that. 233.9, boom, nailed that one. That's the answer to practice problem nine.